Hello everyone, this is Julia the Nomadic Crafter with Bambi Dog in the park. I hope you are all doing well. Thanks for coming to my channel. And I've been thinking a lot about this coronavirus thing that we're going through now. And you know, there's something missing here. There's something missing from this equation. Something big. And it's blatantly obviously missing. We hear a lot of words, quarantine, face masks, personal protection, lockdown, vaccine, social distancing, ventilators. But there's one word, one concept that we're not talking about. You hear a little bit about it on the fringe, but it's not the experts that are talking about this one thing. What is this one thing missing? The one thing we're not talking about or really addressing that's the most important thing in this whole thing, and that is our health. Our overall health. And one word that you rarely hear is immunity. How important it is to keep up our immunity because that's what the body is battling any kind of disease or virus that comes with. This just goes to show that our leaders, the companies, the media, are not giving us the best possible information or outlook on this situation. Think about it. Think about it. We hear so much about this for the last couple of months. And it's like, why aren't they telling us, hey, now we talk about underlying conditions, but really the entire population is sick because we eat these processed foods, because we're not active enough, because we don't get out, because the air's not clean, because the water's not clean. And they try and tell us that the body is not self-healing. That if we don't just give the right nutrition, the right amount of sunlight and water to these bodies that we can't heal, that we can heal. They don't tell us that we can heal. So what's missing in this entire conversation and what would be such a great opportunity right now would be to create a new normal of greater health. What we should be hearing from our leaders and the media right now is, hey, our population is severely obese right now. Our population is on massive amounts of drugs right now to try and keep us healthy and to try and keep us sane. Our population is severely underactive. Our population is completely immersed in media and technology, the internet and our cell phones to the extent that we're not taking care of ourselves in a healthy way. This underlying health problem is directly tied in with this coronavirus and our susceptibility to it. So we're going to start a nationwide campaign right now for greater awareness about our health. And the most important thing that you citizens can do out there is to keep your immunity up. Keep the vitamin C going. Keep the vitamin D. Get out in the sun. Get some vitamin D. Drink lots of water. Keep yourselves healthy as well as social distancing, masks, and all of that. We're always apt to rush to the most high-tech devices to try and take care of our health, such as ventilators, which we've now seen cause as much harm as they do help. You don't hear anybody talking about having the self-determination to take care of our own health and to do all that we can stay healthy in these times. You don't hear that. Yeah, you just don't hear that coming from our, our leaders. Um, we should be really like, like I said, if there's going to be a new normal, the new normal should be a greater awareness of our susceptibility because of our state of health. I mean, we can start clamping down on some of these companies that are constantly putting this total crap into our food, all of these preservatives and colors um, <clears throat> into our food, all of the high fructose corn syrup. And just read any box of food, and it's it's not even food. It's got a little bit of actual food in it and a big, long list of other things. And 
we just take it for granted that we can eat this food and that if they're producing it, it must be safe. You know, we can start clamping down on that. We need to revamp the FDA so that it actually works for us in terms of these drugs and foods. What we've got now is <clears throat> the same people that are producing the drugs and food um, and the seeds, like Monsanto, the agricultural companies, these are the same people that are managing the FDA right now. Go ahead, Bambi. Bambi needs to get a squirrel. Uh, you know, so maybe that needs to be revamped. So the regulatory process actually protects us because the evidence is in. We are not healthy and nobody is regulating this for us. We should be hearing about a new campaign to get healthier in our businesses, our places of work, um, everywhere. You walk into a gas station and what do you see there? Aisles and aisles of total crap food. Um, you go to your workplace, what do you see? Vending machines of total crap food. You look at the t the the advertisements, what do you see? Advertisements for total crap food and drugs being pushed on us every day. I would like to see our leaders, and I would like to see it nationwide because we've been a big effect. We've had a large effect on the rest of the world with our Western lifestyle, and we've pushed a lot of countries to go in the direction that we're going in as well. What I'd like to see is a worldwide effort for greater health and awareness of yeah, it's time to wake up to the fact that um, there are going to be viruses in a large population like ours, a population that's so widespread, and there are going to be things that affect us every day like that. Into the future, I'm surprised it didn't happen earlier, and it did, but we're making such a huge deal about this one. Um, why aren't we talking about our health as the most important thing that we can do to prevent illness? for our loved ones who are susceptible to dying. I mean, for the children. I don't have children, but you do. You know, and they'll have children and they'll have children. When is this madness gonna end? You know, I'd like to see a mayor, a governor, a president, a CEO, uh, official of the World Health Organization say, people, the most important thing that we need to do is keep our health. And um, this whole coronavirus has brought to our attention our need to do that. And we're going to take a stand now. Um, I'd like to see some guidance in that way, rather than just personal protection and social distancing and lockdown. I'd like to see someone, one of our leaders, supposed leaders or scientific officials, tell us the truth. And I'd like to see it be a jumping off point for change. It's about time. What is it going to take for us to wake up? And another thing is, let this be evidence to us that the people that are guiding us, the system that is that we are a part of, is not telling us the truth and is not functioning properly. We don't even have health care. Oh, and that's another thing. We could make changes in the health care system where we would get discounts and be benefited um, by taking more healthy actions, eating more healthy food, um, you know, quitting smoking and all of, that, all of that, like they do in Europe. I'd like to see some of that. But we don't really have a health care system. We have a disease management system, and I think all of us know that at this point. But for some reason, we keep engaging in this. You know, when your blood pressure goes up, even though you realize there's foods and you've been told and heard that there are foods that can mitigate that. And in fact, it's the very foods that you're eating in your very lifestyle that's causing the blood pressure to go up. Your body is trying to adjust something for something that's out of whack. That's what's going on is a constant balancing and adjustment. And you know all that. We know all of that. And what do we do? We still go to the doctor and we take the high blood pressure pressure pill that we know has major side effects. Why do we do that? So for some reason, we're still playing along with this system that I think most people are aware at this point isn't working. We have a massive opioid um, epidemic due to painkillers that were prescribed by doctors at a time when we had already discovered that they were highly addictive. In fact, the government 
increased its subsidies to fentanyl, a highly addictive opioid for pain relief, at a time when the research was already in on how dangerous these drugs are and that drug was. Why are we being in compliance with this system, which is obviously not good for us and lying to us and not telling us the truth? This coronavirus situation with the lack of direction in the area of actual health is clear evidence as if we needed more that something is very wrong here and that our leaders and even our scientific leaders cannot be trusted. Science has been hijacked by the very people who have something to gain from putting out products that might not be so healthy for us. But the testing and the science that's done is now funded by those very people. Vaccines. Vaccines have a law that goes with them that says that the vaccine maker is not liable for the outcome um, or dangerous side effects or health consequences of taking a vaccine. Th this is the law now. They are not liable uh, in that case. What is going on here? That doesn't seem right. So, you know, all of this is evidence that, um, as I say, we don't have a health care system. You know, my friend is going through kidney failure right now, and he's on dialysis. He's unhealthy like the rest of us. And I told him food was the most important thing and mindset. And he asked his doctor what he could do in terms of food to make a difference in this. And his doctor said there was nothing he could do with food that what he ate made no difference as long as he was getting, you know, a generally regular amount of nutrients or whatever. And they suggested and gave him Ensure. And Ensure's second ingredient after water is high fructose corn syrup, which is uh, highly concentrated sugar, not good for the body. His blood pressure is out of wax as well. That's what they gave him to make sure that he has the nutrients he needs. That's absolute nonsense. Another piece of evidence. So, as typical in our system, and I think it's time that we wake up to the fact that our health is our most important thing and that we're really on a terrible track with it, and that those leaders, scientific experts, medical doctors, and health system are not working for us. In terms of this coronavirus, Again, I'll say the most important thing is that we keep our immunity up. And we have learned some new information about how this virus affects the immunity and can use our immune system against us. But that doesn't mean that keeping healthy and keeping our immunity in top, tip-top shape is not going to help, uh, help us. It is the most important thing that we could do. And this is what we should be hearing from our leaders. But it's suspiciously absent. You don't hear anything. So let that be um, something to chew on there. Um, Bambi and I have just taken a lovely run and walk in the park and I can tell you I am totally out of shape. I'm not sitting here saying that I'm super healthy. We're all in this same boat together being unhealthy together. I mean it's it's gotten a lot easier over the years but um, just even if you decide I want to be healthier it's so hard to do that. Everything around us encourages us not to and everything around us is always offering up all of this here, have more sugar, have more salt, have more processed food, all the time, nonstop, every day, you know? And then the simpler foods with less ingredients that are more locally produced, that are healthier, should cost less to make, but the system's set up for that to not be the case. I mean, think about it. Something locally produced doesn't have to be shipped 2,000 miles um, and then refrigerated or uh, harvested early when it doesn't have all its nutrition in it um, in order to be part of this larger system. You'd think not having to do all of that, uh, if it's organic, not having to do all those pesticides and fertilizers, um, if it's small scale, not having to use the gas in the giant big, you know, million dollar machines that plow these giant fields, not having all of that, it's obvious that organic, local, healthier food, uh, less processed food should be less expensive. But the system is rigged to make it more expensive because the uh, those other things I just talked about, the larger agricultural scale of things with the highly processed food is being subsidized on a large scale by our government, just like with fentanyl, to make it less expensive. That's just not 
right. Um, and also, as we're seeing now with the coronavirus, this larger system, um, which produces massive amounts, and like the grocery stores only have three days of food at any given time, that system is too big uh, to turn quickly when changes occur. And that's what we're seeing now. Millions of gallons of milk being poured out on the ground and crops being tilled under. This is absolute insanity. So getting back to what I was saying, even trying to be healthy is made more difficult for us by our very system in subsidizing those larger systems. Um, but all we have to do is move more in the direction of this local, healthier, less processed food, and it will be a bigger market and the prices will come down. And part of what we need to do is not just be part of the market, not just be shoppers. We need to be making some of our own food. We need to know how to do that. We need to be in touch with the plants themselves so that we have an idea of what food is and what eating is, what health is. See, that's the thing. We need to be more self-deterministic about this whole thing, about our own health. And that's what it really comes down to is we're disconnected. We're counting on this large system that we can't even trust, that's proven itself to be untrustworthy in terms of offering us um, products or advice that, that keeps us healthy and alive. We need to move towards you know, what we are is, as I'm saying, disconnected. And we need to move towards a greater awareness of our own bodies, our own health, the plants themselves, the soil, how that grows, how this whole nature system works. That's what we're out of touch with. And all of this is just showing that ever more. And it's just so painfully obvious at this point. When are we going to start turning this around? Sure, it might be hard at this point, but think of yourselves as on the front line of a great battle for the good, for future generations, for the health of your very children. Think of yourselves on a, on a front line of a battle for that. Think of the new normal as letting this be a wake-up call to us to get our house in order, our personal house first. <laughs> so it goes something like this. I am the President of the United States. I am the first female President of the United States. I am the first President of the United States to admit that I did inhale. And what I want to tell you all citizens, not consumers, citizens, the Bill of Rights and all of that good stuff, what I want to tell you today about this COVID-19 virus, the most important thing, we need to address the over the fact that our overall state of sickness disease and obesity in this country is unfortunately making us more susceptible to this silent enemy and that this is the most important reminder of how we need to do better with our health and i challenge every american out there to let this be a wake-up call for you to Take your own health into your own hands. And in the coming days, we'll be doing a large press conference with a lot of specific guidance for what you can do to take care of your own health. And I hereby pledge and vow as your president-elect that I will be moving our country forward in a more healthy direction and we will be providing many incentives for the people in every state of this nation to attain a greater health. And we are going to call out those companies and those healthcare uh, systems that are causing us to be unhealthy and obese at this time. Now, we want you to take care of your families and the greatest thing that you can do, forget about the vaccine, forget about ventilators. The greatest thing that you can do to protect your health right now is to get healthy. Drink more water take vitamin C, get out in the sunlight, vitamin D, meditate, lower your stress levels, and eat lots of highly dense nutritious food. We encourage every citizen at this time to go to their back or front yards, regardless of what the laws say, and grow your own garden on your own property. And if you're in a traveling vehicle, build a garden on top and grow it there if you have to. <laughs> So this is your president of the United States um, giving you good advice. 
I am your leader, and I'm telling you that this is the best thing that you can do to defeat the coronavirus today. <laughs> you can see why I wouldn't be a politician <laughs> uh, and why they need scripts. But that, you know, it should be something like that. That's what we should be hearing. So I guess I'll just close by, hey, not that I'm so special. We're all in this boat together, like I said. But we certainly can do a lot of little things right now to have better health. So get out there and take a walk. <sighs> Remember to breathe deeply. Get a basic stretching routine in order. Um, it really helps the body to circulate and to keep limber so you're flexible for anything that might come along. And yeah, you know, the coronavirus is real, but the hype isn't. What we've been hearing around it is not the best information we could be getting. And it's astonishing to me that we're missing this most important of messages. Keep your immunity up. Keep your health up. It's up to you. No one's going to save you. Um, times are changing. We're bound to see more of this. So it's up to you. Hey, everybody. Please leave in the comments what you think about this topic what you have been doing for your own health. Um, what do you think about what we're being told by our leaders and significant scientific um, people that are supposed to be highly educated about health? Tell me what you think about this and thank you for watching my videos. Give it a thumb up if you agree and have a beautiful day.